Water flows into a new unlined steel 10 inch diameter distribution header at 6,000 gallons per minute. A crossover piping arrangement connects this header to an eight inch auxiliary header. Neglecting minor losses, the initial flow distribution should be as follows. After one iteration of the Hardy Cross method, the flow correction value that should be applied to the network is most nearly A. 269 B. 539 C. 901 or D. 1292 Pause the video and give yourself 5 minutes to solve the problem. Have you finished solving the problem? Let's see if you got the correct answer. Today we'll be talking about the Hardy Cross method. The Hardy Cross method is an iterative method for determining the flow and pipe network systems where the inputs and outputs are known, but the flow inside the network is unknown. The method was first published in November of 1936 by its namesake, Hardy Cross, a structural engineering professor at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. The introduction of the Hardy Cross method for analyzing pipe flow networks revolutionized municipal water supply design. Before the method was introduced, solving complex pipe systems for distribution of water was extremely difficult due to the nonlinear relationship between head loss and flow. Hardy Cross developed two methods for solving flow networks. Each method starts by maintaining either continuity or flow of potential and then iteratively solving for the other. The Hardy Cross method is an application of continuity of flow and continuity of potential to iteratively solve for flows in a pipe network. In the case of pipe flow, conservation of flow means that the flow in is equal to the flow out at each junction in the piping system. Conservation of potential means that the total directional head loss along any loop in the system is zero. The Hardy Cross method assumes that the flow going in and out of the system is known and that the pipe length, diameter, roughness, and other key characteristics are also known or can be assumed. The method also assumes that the relationship between flow rate and head loss is known but the method does not require any particular relation to be used. In the case of water flow through pipes, a number of methods have been developed to determine the relationship between head loss and flow. The Hardy Cross method allows for any of these relationships to be used. The goal of this method is to find the head loss of each pipe in the system, ultimately calculating the total head loss in the distribution system, finding the change in flow created by that head loss across the system, and then applying that change to the various aspects in the system, repeating all three steps until the flow corrections bring your system into a range of acceptance. In the case of water flow through pipes, a number of methods have been developed to determine the relationship between head loss and flow. And the Hardy Cross method allows for any of these relationships to be used. The general relationship between head loss and flow is the following, where head loss H is equal to the variable K times flow, which is the variable Q raised to the n power. Over the past few episodes, we have used multiple equations to correlate head loss, flow, and pipe dimensions. But for this problem, let's use the Hayes and Williams equation from episode 38. From that episode, we stated that the Hayes and Williams equation is the following, where Q is the flow rate in cubic feet per second, C is the Hayes and Williams roughness coefficient, a is the cross-sectional area of the pipe, and S is the slope of the pipe. Realizing that the wetted perimeter, the variable R, for a circular pipe is one-fourth of the diameter, and realizing that our flow rate is in gallons per minute, we can simplify the equation to be the following, where D is the diameter of the pipe in inches. We also covered in episode 38 that head loss is calculated as the slope times the length of the pipe. You can take the Hayes and Williams equation, adjust it to solve for the slope, and then plug it into the head loss equation to get the following. The first portion of this equation represents the variable K that we initially discussed. We can now plug in the information 
for each of the four sections of piping. We get the following for each variable in the head loss equation. Next, we can take the current flow of each section of piping and calculate the head loss incurred in each section. The flow correction equation that we will use is the following. Based on the adjusted Hayes and Williams equation, N is equal to 1.85. The way I usually find the aspects to plug into this equation is that any flows going clockwise in the system will be used as positive values, while flows going counterclockwise will be calculated as negative. Therefore, the flows for AB and BC will be positive values, while the flows for CD and DA will be negative. So let's go ahead and find the aspects of the equation for each section of piping and then calculate the flow correction. Using our data, I calculate a flow correction of 269 gallons per minute for the first iteration of the Hardy Cross method. The correct answer is A. Join us for episode 43 of 52PE exam problems in 52 weeks.